Uh, hello, we are again in Johannesburg Summit. Uh, we are talking about 5G and new requirements. Um, so there is a question coming into my mind. Um, can't we do all these things with 4G systems? It's not 4G is not there yet. So and there are a lot to do with 4G ex by extending 4G systems. Why really do we need uh, a new system 5G? And what will uh, be this uh, big step towards 5G? Well, for us in Ericsson, our view is that 5G is the combination of evolution of existing specifications, like 4G, but also adding new components where we cannot reach the full requirements by evolving 4G. And in one aspect uh, is, of course, the spectrum aspect. We will need new frequencies, we will need wider carriers, and we need, then we may have to go up very high in frequency. And that then automatically means that we may have another access up on millimeter wavelength. But 5G is the combination of those two. So it's the combination of evolution of what we have, the 4G evolution up to perhaps up to 30 gigahertz and then complementing with new technologies above that. And the combination of those is 5G. Okay, we are talking about the combination, but is it really possible to merge all those 5G requirements in one system, like high reliability, short delays? Well, we don't have to meet all of the high requirements for one application. So in some cases, we will need extremely high data rates. In some cases, we will need very high data volumes. In some cases, we will need to support massive machine-to-machine -machine communication. And in some cases, we will need extremely short latency and high reliability. But not all of those requirements will be for one use case. So, yes, our view is it will be possible to meet that within one system, but we may need to have different radio access technologies by evolving the 4G uh, technologies, but also with complementing with new radio access technologies higher up in frequency. But still one system supporting all of the 5G requirements. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>